Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Martin and welcome to 2K Central. I hope you guys are doing well. I sure am. So I did two character videos previously which were centered around Thomas Burke and Vito Scaletta which cover the backstories of characters for anyone that's new. And this one, my friends, revolves around the primary antagonist, Sal Marcano. Okay, so when this game begins in 1968, Sal Marcano has full control of the city and has been in control of New Bordeaux for decades, but so little is known about how he ended up in this position. So I'm here to shed some light on his past dealings to show you how he and his family have rides to the top of the city. Number one, the first, Betrayal. Now the timeline of what I'm about to say is during the 1940s, even earlier in the city of New Orleans. Now this is the scenario, New Bordeaux is under the control of another mob family who have unfortunately not been named as of yet. And the Marcano family, led by Sal's father, were pretty much underbosses to this unnamed family. But throughout the years they had obtained enough manpower and resources to possibly take the city from the resident family who were in control. Sal Marcano seen this as the perfect time to make his move for power, he then betrayed his own father. Now the specifics of the betrayal were not elaborated on but Sal did indeed set up his own father, which led to his death. So Sal indirectly killed his own papa for power. Nice guy. Two, he is a compulsive liar. Now after the killing of his father, Sal was soon approached by his brothers, Tommy and Lou Marcano. They questioned Sal regarding their father's death, but Sal lied and blamed the killing on the mob family who were in power at the time. You can kind of see where this is going, he framed them completely. This then rallied his brothers, who were fueled by revenge, and together they had enough power to take the city. And Sal being the oldest of his brothers and the mastermind behind their capture of New Bordeaux then took his place as the leader of the Marcano family. Number 3. Sal is a father. Okay so this was something we were expecting but we were quite unsure of. Sal does indeed have a son and his name is Georgie. And from what we know the man who shot Lincoln in the head in the trailer is indeed Georgie so things have gotten that more interesting. There's very little that is known about Georgie currently other than he may be a little obsessed with women and controls a district in the city. Uh, the reason I'm setting all of this up is to show you how much Sal Marcano has to lose when this game begins. Number 4. Sal the Hero uh, So every great villain believes they are the hero in their own story. Now from Sal's perspective, he is doing this for his family, believe it or not, even though he is completely in the wrong. In his eyes, he didn't think his father was the right person to lead the Marcano family. For what reasons? We don't know yet, but he decided to indirectly get rid of him. And in the end, he didn't kill his father so he could be the only person that could gain from it. So I'll actually give his brothers Tommy and Lou's sections of the city to control so they can gain a source of income. And his sister-in-law actually controls the district of the city too. So it's a real family business they got going. In his eyes, he is a hero. He has been able to provide for his family. And from his brother's perspective, Sal is the reason why they were able to avenge their family until they possibly find out that he's lying. Also, a little other note. In the previous trailer in which Lincoln kills a character called Tommy. Bayou's a big place, Tommy. That most likely is Sal's brother getting munched on. Number five. The second betrayal. Okay, so when I cut to 1968, Sal Marcano and his family still control New Bordeaux, but tensions have increased as Sal's lies are taking their toll and there's much more competition scattered around the city in the form of the Haitian gang led by Cassandra, the Irish mob led by Thomas Burke, and another Italian mob led by Vito Scaletta. Now Sal has a personal history with both Cassandra and Burke. In the past, the Irish have attempted to take territory and staged multiple attacks on the Marcano family, but ultimately Burke failed in these attacks and got his knees broken for his pointless attempts. But during this time, the Marcano family are also partnered with many other smaller mob families who have been given small sections of the city to run. And one of these happens to be the Black Mob, led by Sammy Robinson. So during a moment of peace between the two families, Sal Marcano once again decided to take advantage of the opportunity presented. During a meeting, Sal and his men initiated an attack on the Black Mob. He personally kills Sammy and his son Ellis. Georgie deals with the game's main protagonist, Lincoln Clay, who just returned from Vietnam. And it's pretty clear that Sal has been using these tactics for quite some time. But unfortunately for Sal and Georgie, Lincoln lives and the Black Mob was the only family he's ever had. Number 6. A Worthy Rival Okay, so after the second betrayal and attack against the Black Mob, Sal unintentionally created his greatest rival and playable protagonist, Lincoln Clay, as he survived the bullet shot to the head. And just like how Sal took the city by fueling his brothers with the need for revenge for the death of their own father, Sal and Georgia fueled Lincoln with the same need for revenge by killing the black mob. Oh, the irony. So Lincoln calls an old acquaintance, CIA operative John Donovan. Donovan provides information on Sal's family. And with this knowledge, Lincoln joins forces with established criminals Cassandra, Burke and Vito. 
each who have their own history with Sal, Lincoln's ultimate goal is revenge on not only Sal, but his entire family. An eye for an eye, or a family for a family, but we have to remember based on Sal's history that we now know, he's got the potential to outmaneuver people by pulling fast ones and making just really douche moves. So it may not be as simple as we initially believed to take down Sal Marcano. But yeah, that's the end of the video guys, unfortunately, that's all I have on Sal, so taking all of that into consideration, what do you guys think of the primary antagonist, Sal Marcano? Do you like him, or has he fueled your need for revenge that much more? Let us know. And one final point I want to make, how amazing would it be if Lincoln finds out about Sal's previous history? And instead of killing off Sal's family, we have the option to tell Tommy and Lou that Sal pretty much killed your father, and that turns them to our side. Whew, please let that be an option. But as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Mafia 3 will be released October 7th, 2016 on Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Stay tuned for more Mafia related content here on 2K Central. Alright, take it easy guys. Bye bye. Is your feet up to the skin? Walking down the street and you hear that heavy beat, can't help but walk.